Alfresco Share is a collaborative system that permits multiple colleagues to collaborate on projects or other types of uh, uh, related tasks. Here, I'm going to log in. The purpose of this is pretty straightforward. is to provide a straightforward user interface rather than a complicated one. The Alfresco Share product is designed to allow the users to create sites. A site might represent a site for a project or something uh, similar to that. Let's pretend that I am implementing uh, Alfresco for my uh, uh, customer, the Acme Corporation. I simply create a site and now I am in the Acme implementation project site. This uh, site has a dashboard, like a, it's almost like a portal. It is a completely customizable user interface. Clicking on customize dashboard permits me to uh, modify the layout by changing the columns, for example. I can then add dashlets or components into a page. So here I am adding a calendar, among other things. And you can also remove components by just dragging them into the trash can. Once you're happy with your layout, just click OK. Now you've configured your page. This is an empty site at this point in time, so what the first thing I need to do is start creating content for it. We're going to move from left to right, so the first thing I can do is create a wiki page. Clicking on the wiki link takes me to the wiki section of the site. From here, I can create a new page or edit an existing one. The rich text editor permits us to format text in whichever way that we desire. Let's say that I want to create a link back to the main page. Simply wrap, wrap it in uh, the link in square brackets and that's all you need to do. Now we have a link to the main page which I can edit and populate. I can get a full inventory of all the pages that are available. As you can see here, here's the main page and the sample page. And if I were to return back to the dashboard, I can also publish that page as a dashlet. Clicking Configure, selecting the page I want to link to, and now this dashlet is publishing HTML content. I can do the same thing for blogs. Creating a new post is as simple a matter as clicking New Post. The experience is very similar to creating a wiki page. Tagging is actually not required. Everything in Alfresco has an RSS feed, so you can use it to subscribe via your RSS reader. Now I'm going to jump over to the document library. The document library allows me to collect documents. I can create as many folders as I want. And as you can see on the left hand side, the folders appear there. I can also show the folders on the main screen by clicking show folders. Next I can navigate into a folder and upload documents. To upload documents, you simply select as many documents as you want to upload and hit the select button. Now your documents will be uploaded. Notice how straightforward and easy it is to upload the documents.
Once your document has finished uploading, you can just click the OK button. And note that Alfresco will immediately begin to generate thumbnails for your different documents. This allows you to quickly preview the document at a glance. In addition to this, if you were to click on the document, you will be able to see more details about that particular document, including its metadata, the security privileges associated with it, the version history, and execute different actions. Also note, on the left-hand side, we have a flash-based preview, which permits you to take a look at the document and examine the document very closely without having to um, download the document. You can view all pages of the document very easily, and the interface is draggable. There's also full screen mode, should you desire. Next, we go to the calendar. Simply click on the calendar link, and now you can add events. Now your event has been created. You can subscribe to events using the iCal feed button. That means that you can import them into your regular calendar program. Alfresco Share also supports the creation of short, uh, shortcuts or links to link off to related content or related websites. Let's say that I want to create a link to the Alfresco website. Click Save, and the shortcut is saved. This link will now also appear in the Links Dashlet and the Dashboard. We will review that in a few moments. Alfresco Share also supports uh, discussion boards. This permits any user to create a topic, and other colleagues can reply. Finally, I may wish to invite other colleagues to participate with the, in this website. To do so, click the Members button, and then hit Invite. Now I can search for other colleagues, for example, my colleague Matt. I can add him to the list. I can look for other colleagues, such as my colleague John. Then I can assign them to a particular role. Roles include full management privileges, collaborator, contributor, or consumer, which is a read-only role. Clicking the Invite button sends them an email informing them that they've been invited into this website. I'm going to log out and log back in as Matt. In Matt's personal dashboard, there is a ta My Tasks dashlet, which informs him that he has been invited to a particular site. Matt can simply click the Accept button, and now Matt is a member of the, um, of the Acme website. This is reflected here in his list of sites, and also notice the calendar, which lists uh, a particular event that exists inside the Acme implementation project. Let's log out and log back in as the original user. Notice the calendar here as well. Every user has a profile and it is fully customizable. So let's add a summary about my roles. And that concludes the demo.
Should there be any questions, please send them to info at alfresco.com. Thank you very much.